Chapter 38 Sod In the name of God, the kind, the caring. Sod By the Quran full of reminders. The unbelievers are arrogant and hostile. How many generations did we destroy before them? They screamed, but it was too late to escape. They're surprised that a warner came to them. The unbelievers said, He's a lying magician. Did he turn the gods into one god? This is a strange thing. Their leaders announced, Walk away and stay true to your gods. That's what you must do. We never heard of this in the former faith. This is an invention. Was the message sent to him, out of all of us? In fact, they doubt my message. In fact, they haven't yet tasted my punishment. Or do they possess the treasury of your Lord's mercy, the majestic giver? Or do they control the heavens, the earth, and everything in between? Then let them climb the ropes. The Confederate armies will be defeated there. Noah's people denied before them, as did Ad and Pharaoh of the pillars. And Namud, and the people of Lot, and the wood dwellers. These are the Confederates. They all denied the messengers, so my punishment was justified. These can expect a single blast, and there's no recovery. They say, Our Lord, give us our share in advance, before the day of accountability. Be patient with what they say, and mention our servant David, the resourceful. He was devout. We made the mountains praise with him, in the evening and at sunrise. And the birds in flocks, all obedient to him. We strengthened his reign, and we gave him wisdom and decisive speech. Did the story of the two disputants reach you, as they climbed the sanctuary? When they came to David, he was startled. They said, Don't be afraid. We have a dispute, one of us victimized the other. So judge between us fairly, and don't be biased, and lead us to a fair solution. My brother has ninety-nine sheep, and I have one. He demanded, put it in my custody, and he pressured me. He said, it's wrong for him to ask you for your sheep. Many partners take advantage of one another, except the righteous believers, but these are few. David knew that we were testing him, so he asked his Lord for forgiveness, knelt, and repented. So we forgave him. He'll enjoy our closeness and a beautiful homecoming. O oh David, we appointed you a steward of the land, so judge justly between people. And don't act according to your desires or they may lead you away from God's path. Those who stray from God's path will have a severe punishment for neglecting the day of accountability. We didn't create heaven, earth, and everything in between for nothing. That's the assumption of the unbelievers. Misery to the unbelievers because of the fire. Would we make the righteous believers like those who spread corruption on earth? Or would we make the righteous as the shameless? This is a blessed book that we sent to you so that they may meditate on its messages, so that the intelligent may learn. We granted David Solomon. What an excellent servant! He was devout. In the evening, beautiful horses were paraded before him. He said, I preferred the love of niceties to my Lord's remembrance, until they disappeared from sight. Bring them back to me. And he stroked their legs and necks. We tested Solomon. We placed a body in his chair. Then he returned full of devotion. He said, My Lord, forgive me, and give me a kingdom that will never be attained by anyone after me. You are the giver. So we accommodated for him the winds, blowing gently at his command, wherever he wanted. And the devils, builders and divers, and others shackled in chains. This is our gift. So give generously, or withhold, as you wish. He will enjoy our closeness and a beautiful homecoming. And mention our servant Job, when he appealed to his Lord. Satan touched me with grief and suffering. Kick with your foot. This is a cool place to wash and drink. We restored his family to him, and an equal number of others with them, as a mercy from us, and a lesson for those endowed with understanding. Take a bundle with your hand, and strike with it, and don't break your oath. We found him patient. What an excellent servant! So devout. And mention our servants Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They were strong and insightful men. We chose them for a special mission, to remind others of home. For us, they're of the chosen, the exceptional. And mention Ishmael, 
Elisha, and Ezekiel. They were among the chosen. This is a reminder. The godly will have a beautiful homecoming. The gardens of bliss, with the doors open for them. Relaxing there, asking for plenty of fruit and drinks. Beside them are servants of modest appearance, of the same age. It's promised to you for the day of accountability. This provision on our part won't end. All this. But tyrants will have a terrifying return. Hell where they'll roast. What a miserable place of return. All this. Let them taste it, boiling and freezing. Coupled with similar torments. It's a crowd conquering with you. They aren't welcome. They'll be scorched by the fire. They'll say, But it's you. There's no welcome for you. It's you who brought this upon us. What a miserable end! And they'll say, Our Lord, whoever brought this upon us, double his suffering in the fire. And they'll say, Why is it that we don't see men whom we considered evil? Did we take them for fools? Or did we overlook them? That's how the people of the fire will argue among themselves. Say, I'm a warner, and there's no God but God, the One, the Irresistible. Lord of the heavens, the earth, and everything in between, the Almighty Forgiver. Say, This is an important message that you turn away from. I never knew of the High Assembly when they quarreled. It's revealed to me that I'm a clear warner. Your Lord said to the angels, I am creating a human being from clay. Once I have formed him and breathed of my spirit into him, prostrate yourselves before him. So the angels prostrated themselves all together, except for Iblis. He was arrogant and ungrateful. He said, O oh, Iblis, what kept you from prostrating before what I created with my hands? Are you too proud, or are you from above? He said, I'm better than he. You created me from fire, and you created him from clay. He said, Then get out of here. You're an outcast and my curse will be on you until judgment day. He said, My Lord, give me time until the day they're resurrected. He said, You have it. Until the day of the appointed time. He said, By your majesty, I'll seduce them all. Except for your devout servants. He said, That's true, and I speak the truth. I'll fill hell with you and those who follow you. Say, I ask you for no reward for this, and I'm not a pretender. It's a reminder for everyone. And you'll know it's news after a while.